30 years ago, uh, the two different agencies from the UK and the United States of America saw that there was alien wreckage, a ghost ship coming in from space, and that it would land in what our show now has as present day. Uh, in the meantime, they established two separate agencies uh, that came together in a coalition called Orbital. Our two characters come together to discover what this technology has to offer our world, the effects it has on the people that discover it, uh, and to retrieve it and bring it back for further investigation. Each week is like a new piece to the puzzle of discovering what this alien debris wreckage is and how it affects both the characters, Fanola and Brian, as well as the people who discover um, the technology itself and who we are as a, a human species. Brian Beneventi is uh, the CIA operative, the partner to Fanola Jones from MI6, uh, as the two uh, kind of heroes of orbital in our story. Brian is a former Special Forces, was saved um, spiritually and physically out of a, a very difficult situation overseas by a mentor father named Maddox, played by Norbert Leo Butts. And this mission that I'm on now is as much to kind of repair myself as it is to uh, serve my country uh, and the mission at large. In many ways, I am um, the counterbalance uh, in terms of practicality to the emotional, um, kind of more science-driven approach that, uh, that Fanola Jones brings to, uh, to our, our, uh, our orbital team. Brian and Fanola come from dramatically different backgrounds and have very different perspectives on the world um, and on how to problem solve. But what the debris does is it brings them together um, in a unique and fun and very real way where emotionally they both have to open up to each other in order to um, be successful. That the powers against them are so strong and the people who um, want to um, take this debris into their own hands for, um, for nefarious purposes, what they're capable of doing, what they're willing to do, um, is so extraordinary that if we're unable to trust each other, unable to be honest with each other, unable to uh, open ourselves up to one another, we won't stand a chance um, at succeeding. Brian is immensely practical. He knows how to execute. Um, he's got a great sense of humor. And um, I think audiences will find him to be uh, totally relatable um, and filled with also some mysteries that they're going to hope to have uh, unraveled over the course of the first season. Fanola and Brian, this kind of yin and yang uh, partnership, are both actually after very similar things. And as a reader of the scripts, and I think as an audience watching the show, you start to understand that um, you know we're all a lot more united than we think we are. Uh, at least on the surface, or what we think, what what appears to be on the surface, and I think this first season really is as simple as a young woman looking to find her father, and uh, a young man um, saying goodbye to his father, and in that journey um, of awareness, you you kind of fall in love with with both of these people. As an actor, it's fun because. I'm having a similar response to some of the sensational elements as I would as a, as, a, as a character. And part of what makes our show much have a much more appeal than simply to a sci-fi audience is that um, these are things that you can see happening. There's a, um, there's a reality to our show that one might not expect based on some of the fantastic things that they see on screen. We are constantly surprised by the power of this debris. People appear and reappear in different places. People age in reverse. People can read somebody else's minds. Um, people get trapped in different time, layers of time and time zones. So, um, you know, we are, we are in search of finding some sort of consistency 
with the debris and constantly surprised at how dynamic it is. Week to week, you don't know what mystery is going to be presented and revealed on our show. I was drawn to debris for a handful of reasons. I like sci-fi. I haven't done sci-fi. And this is the sort of grounded show within that world that allows us to explore some of the sensational elements um, without having to suspend disbelief. I like artificial intelligence. I like alien technology. And in the hands of a showrunner like Joel Wyman, uh, I knew we would have a world to explore that would be wholly unique. One of the exciting parts about working on debris is that we're telling very real grounded stories of human emotion, of interconnection. Every time we discover a new piece of debris, it reflects um, more clearly on who we are as characters in the show and on who we are as, um, as human beings. And if we can somehow rebuild this ghost ship by putting these different pieces together, we might end up figuring out um, that we can heal ourselves, we can rebuild ourselves. All of these characters, um, and frankly all human beings, are um, trying to fill voids, um, heal wounds, see the world more clearly. Um, we're all slightly damaged, and this debris helps um, put our lives and our perspectives into context.